Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, good afternoon, how are you today? I hope all of you are fine and in a good condition The Honorable Mim Dr. Anissa Astrid STMPD as the lecturer of teaching and learning evaluation We are from group 1 and today in this video we are we are going to discuss about task pacification well my friends before we start our presentation today we will introduce our members and my name is Nur Maskana and my partners are Melda Srijendiri Watmia and Nazib Al-Fakih Ahmad okay my friends we have chosen the level of students that are going to be tested, they are the secondary level of mean grade students. And for the type of subtest is graphic test, which focus on the combined skills of reading and writing or correspondence. For the source material, it is an authentic material since it provides its exact layout and any support given by pictures. And it is suitable level of difficulty for a task day, which is the secondary level of math grade students and also mandating on the syllabus of Katigablas. For the source material and itself to testing the crucial skills to assess which is reading skill and the material is comprehensible and interest to the task list. The last the source materials have a coherent structure. As you can see, this is the table of specification that are going to be tested for the students and we have created from the events and activities to the suitable test task. And from events, we have gaining the information from book, online media, and trusted websites. And for the activities, of course, related to the text that are going to be tested. In this case, we are going to test the students of secondary level of ninth grade. And for the modes, we have we have chosen the graphic task. So the modes are reading, and then the channels we use the print channels to test the students. And for the topic areas. Of course, related to the text material that are going to be tested and the suitable test tasks or formats, of course, um, multiple choices, um, true false, and also the gut feeling. There are three types of text that are going to be tested which are mandating on the syllabus of Katiga Blas for the secondary level of ninth grade students. They are narrative, report, and advertisement text. Okay, we come to the first one. It's about the narrative. Um, in this case, in this type of text, um, the suitable test task or format that we have chosen is the gut feeling, which is the direction uh, is the students have to fill in the blanks with the suitable words in the box. For the activities, students must comprehend the material, the plot, and answering the question by using the reading skills. Thank you. And then the next material will be explained by Nazif. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nazif al Ahmad, and I will continue explaining the materials that has explained before by my friend Nurul Maskara. Well, since we make a reading test for grade 9 in junior high school by adapting curriculum guidelines and adjusting to what we have made in the table of specification, report text is one kind of the text that must be mastered by a student. Therefore, we used report text as a suitable material to be tested. The text in this slide is the example of report text. As we know, report text is a kind of text usually found in English national test for the students of the last year class, whether they are in junior high school or senior high school. 
The purpose of report text is to present information about something generally, and it generally describes the way things are with reference to range of natural, man-made and social phenomena in our environment, such as mammals, the planets, rocks, plants, countries of region, cultures, transportation, and so on. So in this case, we use multiple choice as a suitable test format, since the reading test is an objective test. Multiple choice or objective response is a form of an objective assessment in which respondents are asked to select only correct answers from the choices offered as a list. As we know, there are only four options for junior level and also it is same as elementary level. The example questions that can be made of the report text we attached such as what is the text about, what animal is being described in, the, in that report text, and then where do the blue whales live, then how long is the blue whale usually reached, and what is the length of the longest blue whale measured by a South Georgia whaling station. And don't forget all those questions are certainly related to the report text that have attached. Well, thank you for your great attention. The next material will be explained by. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nelly Sri Jani Well, I will explain the third text they are going to be tested. It is about advertisement text that describe rate and promo in Amanzi Water Park. Based of syllabus K13 at Grade 9, Chapter 10 in Junior High School, the test is suitable for students in junior junior level. Related to tables of specifications, the format test for junior level is true or false, which is based on event and activity, namely gaining information from trusted website, such as reading the advertisements, searching for specific items of information, and understanding information in advertisement the much used reading skill the, cha the channel is print the topic areas are travels and advertisements and the suitable test box or format is extra factual information scanning and skimming or true or false Okay, look the questions of Amanzi water part water part. There are five questions and use true or false format. In true or false format, the student must answer the questions with find out the sentence are true or false. Okay, I think enough. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you can comprehend the material. And if you have any questions, you may drop your question on our discussion forum. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.